To add an audio file, press the insert stimuli button and find the audio button here. Uh, once it shows up on the canvas, you can kind of drag and reposition it anywhere you like. Um, so once you've kind of decided where you want it to be, you can modify some of the properties over here. So the best way to support audio or source audio files is to grab a link from YouTube. Um, this might require you to upload upload a file to YouTube or search existing files from YouTube or other web links. So let's just uh, go to our YouTube channel here. Uh, I'm just going to grab a, a random song and copy and paste the link into the audio source. So you see YouTube, uh, that's the link. We have a couple more features. We can enable it so that it automatically plays once the uh, once the trial begins. We can also make the um, the audio file visible or invisible in the case of a continuous play. If you want um, to force the user to listen to the entire song um, without the ability to change or modify things, you can make it autoplay and make it invisible um, so they pretty much have to listen to the entire piece uh, if that's what your experiment requires. Um, so if we just take a quick save and a preview, um, this is what it would look like. So we made it autoplay and we made it invisible. So we can't see where the audio file is, but it is playing in the background uh, very quietly. There you go, that's audio files.